everybody, Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Sunday, September the 16th. A beautiful day here. The sun is out. We haven't had sunshine here at Parks since uh, just after the War of 1812. But nonetheless, the sun is out. A beautiful day. Main track is fast. We're off the turf once again. We'll take a look at races 5 and 6 today. The fifth race is six furlong climbing event. Horses in here for 12,500. I like the outside horse number 8, Curtis, who is being saddled by trader Bobby Bosco with jockey George Vargas Jr. aboard. Now, Curtis had been racing against Better Company before being dropped in for 12-5, a start at Belmont Park back in May. And uh, this outfit claimed Curtis that afternoon and since then has been running against Better Company. Now, Curtis, uh, again, has had some success against Better Company and will be taking getting uh, some class relief today. Now, Curtis was entered yesterday but was scratched out of a race going long. Instead, Bobby Bosco opted to put him back in short where he has run most of his races. So uh, his preference to, was to run in this spot today, and uh, I'll take uh, Bobby Bosco here. Let's go with number eight, Curtis, in the fifth race. Now, race number six comes off the grass. We'll go five furlongs over the main track. I like number seven, two, the flag. Scott Lake is sending this one out with jockey Luis Ocasio aboard. Two starts back for the same $16,000 claiming tag at six furlongs. Did win that one at Penn National, and then came back at a similar race at Delaware Park, going five-eighths and chased a loose pace setter but stayed on to finish a good second that day again in for the same $16,000 claiming price. Does have the kind of speed to get up into the early part of the race. I don't think he needs to have the lead to uh, be successful here, but he should be able to fashion a good trip from that seven post. Nine to two is the morning line price. Race number six, let's make it go with number seven to the flag.